I'm so sunburnt, bro. Yeah. No, I know where it is. Anyway, if you were wondering why I'm so sunburnt, there's a couple people who know. They're probably not watching this video. Naya's one of them. Hey, Naya. She's probably watching this video. But anyway, I'm very summer, so yeah. Hey, JJ peeps. Okay, so basically today what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be showing you guys how I edit my Instagram photos. If you're wondering why I'm just doing random things, it's because I haven't posted in like two or three days and I'm really mad at myself. But I've been like just super duper busy and it's been terrible. So like, I don't know. I've just, I've never had time to make a video, but I'm finally making one about how I edit my Instagram photos. And um, so let's just get on into the video. Okay. So the first thing that we're gonna do is, um, First off, I'm just gonna take like a picture, I don't know, just a random picture. So the next time you guys will see me on the screen recorder, so yeah. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is go into Facetune. Waiting on it to load. And I'm going to just select the photo that I just took. And then usually I'll go into the smooth. But usually I'll use the smoother. And then I'll just smooth out my face to where you can't see all the pimples. And all of my um, flaws. And just make my face look smoother. And then, um... I didn't actually mean to do this. I was trying to like see if the white end would help my sunburn, but it didn't. I was just kidding about that. <laughs> And usually I'll just defocus my entire background, like make me like the center of attention on the picture. So I'm just gonna defocus that. And then now I'll go back with the eraser and just erase the parts that don't need to be defocused on my body. If you can hear background noises, that's my family. Ugh, <laughs> oh, ad. Now, um, I will usually just pick this is never really, usually I'll pick apricot or mantis or something 
And then for my lighting, I like to go with either S-Curve or Darken. That's always, like, my usual thing to do. And for the texture, I usually do smoky, but sometimes I just leave it. Depends on my mood that day or what I think needs to happen. So, yeah. For the filters, I will usually go with chromatic, if that's what that says. My family is, like, being silly. So, now I'm going to save the photo. And then it exports. And then, done. The next app that I go to is an app called Afterlight. And then I'll just click on the little gallery button. And it'll take me to my gallery. And I can pick what picture I want. So, I'm just going to pick the one that I exported from Facetune. And with this, it's nothing really, it's not like a routine. I just do random stuff that I think is best. But right now, I'm just fixing my brightness up. And I put it at 54. And I just choose like a random filter that looks good. And I'm just kind of testing out things because I'm not that used to this app yet. So I'm just kind of just testing out a bunch of stuff. And I don't like my saturation that much up. But I do like it to kind of look vintage, I guess. But not too vintage. So right now I'm just kind of messing around for the right thing that I want. And I put it at negative 8. And then my exposure I just kind of put down a little bit. That way it would... Just not be too bright, but not too dark. The shadows, I usually don't mess with a lot. I just put it all the way down. And then my fade, I usually put all the way down. And then the highlight tone I used for this is like a reddish, I guess. It, it was like a red, but not too red. Like, it was down a lot. So, like right there, maybe? At ele negative 11. And then the highlight tone... Mid-tone, I just did something random because I wasn't really used to it. So, I just did something cool. And I put it at negative 14 on blue. The shadow tone, I just didn't feel like messing with. But I just put it at a random thing, 50 green. And then I was trying to just see what all this stuff was. But it was really just a lot of letters and stuff. So, I just didn't do any of that. And then all I gotta do is push the gallery button that is purple, and then it'll save. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye! Oops. Wait, why did. Bye. Now, goodbye for real.